Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, I got some interesting information this morning from the fairy world, from the nature spirits, what we used to call the fourth dimension that's ascending into sixth dimension now. And uh, I thought I'd tell you the quick story of it, even though I'm late for being someplace else because when I, when I get important information, unless I convey it immediately, sometimes I forget in fact quite frequently. <laughs> so uh, I'll try and explain this. Um, you know it's kind of revolutionary information so I don't really expect you to believe it you know but there may come a time when it becomes true for you in your life and then then maybe it will be useful to you. See lately uh, I've been talking some to, to the to the nature spirits, to their really beautiful, happy. When I, I encounter them when I'm out in nature, in a place like this, this beautiful place here. And sometimes at other times, but, but mostly out in nature. And I found out a few things about them, like they like to receive gifts, right? And so we were discussing the kind of food uh, yesterday and the day before, the kind of food they'd like for an offering, because I saw that on the internet, I saw that they liked milk, right? But come to find out, they like fresh squeezed milk from a cow's udder, and this is completely beyond my grasp to do that. I, I heard from them that in Ireland they're doing it. <laughs> they're still milking cows and giving a squirt from the cow to, this is what they told me, and I expect it's true, because nature spirits never lie. They're, they're they're really straightforward, happy uh, beings of light. Really a joy to be around. And uh, so, but anyway, <laughs> I couldn't come up with any good food. So I went to the dollar store and I bought some, some beautiful marbles, cat's eye marbles, right? All different colors. There were some white ones mixed in. They didn't like the, the milky white ones, but they love the kind that catch the sunlight. And, and in addition, there was one large marble in each, um, in each bag. I bought two bags. <laughs> and those marbles, those huge marbles, I made sure that they would be good for the devas, the devas that supervise the wonderful work that the nature spirits do. And so then it was my, when I'd go for my walks, I'd try and find a place to put a marble so that it will catch the sunlight and it won't be dislodged by this, the winter snows. and, it, and under specific instructions from from the fairies and hells and, and like that to make sure it's so high that a child can't see it and take it away <laughs> and so that's what I've been doing every once in a while and they, they and they like it when I hide them and so that they have to go back and find them later and the truth of the matter is they know exactly where I put them because they know every single tree <laughs> <laughs> but, but they pretend for my sake that they don't know where they are and then as soon as I go away they go and find them all and sometimes they go back and find them again <laughs> so there's that um, and so <laughs> I've been having incredible fun with this <laughs> you have to learn to talk with them first to find out exactly what they want though because they're very specific and one of the things they love I found are songs about the earth. If you are willing to sing songs about the earth, you better believe that you will make friends with the natural world. And so, I found out that there's a group of uh, shamans. Did I say that right? Um, there's a shaman group on the internet that that has uh, hundreds of songs about the earth. And so, they actually went down to I think it was Peru. A whole bunch of them went down there to find the guy that wrote a song called uh, Madre Madre Tierra <laughs> and have him sing it to them. <laughs> so these are the few of the things that have been happening lately. <laughs> and so it's, it's terrific. And so um, as I mentioned yesterday I was out here and near a music shop and there were just fairies just all over a tree. It was glittering with with beautiful nature spirits and all over the earth around it listening to the to the song that the singer was singing live outside of the the shop even though there were cars passing by and you know they loved it 
Yeah, I hang out in this area right here quite a lot because of that music store. <laughs> so, so then I was heading off to a Krishnadas concert.